I review games, what, a few times a year? So here's another one that was on my radar. In the Callisto Protocol, Jacob, played by Josh Demel, is the pilot of a cargo ship that crashes onto Callisto, a moon of Jupiter, and is taken in as an inmate on the moon's prison. If that wasn't stressful enough, he awakens to find some kind of mutating, vomiting, flesh-eating, rage-zombie-like creatures that have taken over the prison. It's from the makers of Dead Space, and you can tell. Right away, it's gonna seem pretty familiar, which could be good. I did like Dead Space a lot. There's a lot of good stuff here, especially some of the combat. It is satisfying when you beat these creatures with a baton and dodge them with some boxing-like controls left and right, or when you stomp on their corpses to get some health or credits. Really, I used my baton a lot more than I did my gun. And also, it was kind of fun lifting the creatures up with these force gloves and throwing them into machinery or spikes. Even when you die, the kill scenes are hilariously gruesome. Only downside to that is the load screen noticeably takes a while, and that can be pretty tedious if you're in a spot where you're gonna die quite a few times. The game also has those Dead Space-like jump scares that work and keep you invested. All of this results in a game that is perfectly fine. Like I said, there's stuff to like. The controls were good enough for me. It's a great-looking game. It was fun in the moment, but that's about it. It's one of those games that's too much like too many other things without having really anything about it that makes it unique or sets itself apart. It's familiar territory to a fault, with characters and a story that are just serviceable. I don't know how much I really cared that much about where the story was going. Playing it, I was mainly like, okay, there's the fleshy walls again, there's some pods, oh, it's these types of creatures again. It's very generic, or like a Dead Space stand-in. It makes it the type of game that's fine, but I'm not gonna remember it a few days after playing it, and there wasn't really anything in it to bring me back. But because of the stuff that does work, I wasn't overly frustrated, it's the right length, and it was a good way to kill a day. I'll give it a generous B-, minus, but it's not worth the price tag it has on it right now. Dear God, wait until the price is dropped if you're gonna play it. Tell us what you thought below, and stay tuned, because we'll have some Brad tries coming up, and some midnight screenings, and we'll see you next time. Hey.